warm August Ozarks Day. Uh, we're very excited to be here. Of course, we're here to celebrate the Children's Park. For those of us that have worked on this project for years, I see city employees all around me. We've all been working on this for years to create something that we felt like would be a crown jewel for the community, and we feel like that we've done that. Uh, not just a crown jewel for the parks, but for give children of all ability levels something to be proud of, something that they can enjoy. Uh, I want to thank everybody who has supported this, the community, of course the city workers, all the organizations that have been here. Um, obviously it's very, very hot. What we're going to do is we're going to have two speakers. Uh, Steve Cassida from Play and Parks is here, uh, and then Mayor Mike Topliff will speak as well. Uh, then we're going to go up and take some pictures. You guys are free to stay, stick around, enjoy the park. If you want to burn off some extra calories, then you can get your steps in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Steve Cassida. Steve can hold the microphone, and then it'll be Mayor Mike, and then we'll go up and get, get some pictures. Well, I'd just like to say, number one, it's an extreme honor to, uh, to have been able to participate in designing and helping develop this crown jewel of a playground that we've, that we've got here for your community. There's not very many communities in this part of the state that have what we would call an inclusive playground. As a matter of fact, between here and the Mississippi River, there is not a single one, and the nearest one would be over in Ozark, Missouri. So you have something to be tremendously proud of in, in this design and this development that we've created here in this playground. This is a playground that was designed to be inclusive for children of all abilities, for the whole child in mind. There's accessibilities for, child, for children and mobility devices. There's sensory play events for children who maybe are on the spectrum, that sort of thing. And it's great not just for the community of West Plains. It's great for this entire part of the state of Missouri in that children from all different small communities and their families can come here to play on your playground, to come here and spend dollars in your community and your businesses and have a great time here in West Plains. So I just want to take, just say thank you very much from Plain Park Structures. It was an exciting project. This playground is fantastic, and I just want to congratulate each and every one of you on this commitment. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, this project has been a, a long uh, labor of love for the city of West Plains. Uh, you know, when we wanted to create an all-inclusive playground, you know, so that all kids of all abilities could enjoy. In addition to this, uh, the playground equipment, we've also included a mile, half a mile of new ADA accessible walking trails. And of course, the, the splash pad. And we feel that we have accomplished this. And the attendant, if you go drive by here anytime during the summer, you'll see how popular this, this park is now. Constantly, you know, there'll be someone here playing, groups gathering. So, so once again, it's, we've done what we wanted. But we're not done. Uh, the park will continue to see some improvements over the next year or so. Uh, we're planning on additional parking, some lighting for the walking trails, and some more fall protection surfacing. Uh, I believe some uh, fencing also is in the works. So we'll continue to, to keep it uh, growing and, and get improving. But a project of this size can't be accomplished just by one group and there's many many people that have been involved first we thank play and park structures for their participation in proving this wonderful equipment uh, we want to thank the lwcf for the grant funding to make this possible skokog for helping us for administration duties of everything and then these guys all the guys around here and women that represent the city all the hard work that they put into it i I'd drive by and they'd be out here even on days like this, just working away, which by the way, it's a beautiful day out here. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> remember this in like February, you know? <laughs> it's like, remember that? Okay. <laughs> All right, so at this time, the Chamber of Commerce will be doing a ribbon cutting. And uh, like you said, if you feel, uh, feel like it, stick around. Uh, enjoy the walking trail now. Uh, jump on some it's all kids you know and the splash pad so thank you all for attending all right